welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, thanks for joining me at my desk today. I'm going to scoot over and make some room for you so you can come and join me while we crochet and chat and just visit and just have a good time together. So I am putting this video out on Friday morning. It doesn't matter when, what time you're watching it or if you're not watching it on Friday or a different time or whatever. The video is here for your convenience for whenever you get a chance to watch. But I'm just saying that I am recording this Thursday, late Thursday night, so it can go out early Friday morning because I'm gonna be in the car headed to Shreveport for my doctor's appointment. So that's why I'm recording it, you know, like this. Anyway, so I have been working on my blanket. I think when I left you guys, um, had I joined in the green? I can't remember. But I did work on it a little bit more. Not a whole lot, but I did work on a little bit and got around to there. So I got about, I'm about halfway done with that round. So I, I love the way it's turning out. I just love the bright colors. I can't wait to see it grow and all the colors added to it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So right now I'm going around all the way around with the purple round all the way around with the blue and the green um green next i'll be doing yellow orange and pink and i'm going to do those all the way around and then i'm going to add a round of white in there and then after that i'm not going to do rounds all the way around because i only bought one skein of each color and i want those colors to last throughout the blanket and common sense will tell you that if you you know get so far out it's going to take more and more yarn to go all the way around the blanket. So what I'm going to be doing after I get all these colors put back in, going out this way, then I'm just going to take my yarn and wrap up some balls, and they will be various sizes. I don't want them the same size. Um, even though they might look to be the same size ball, some will be round tighter than others and some will be looser. So they won't be the same size. And then I'm going to go start going around the blanket with, you know, like, like I'll, ra I'll roll up a ball of purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink, and white. And I'm just going to throw those out here. And I'll use them in the same sequence. And they won't go all the way around, but it'll still end up being pleasing to the eye later, okay? And I think my blanket is going to be pretty long because this is already pretty long. But, um, and I was like, oh, did I go too, too, too long? Is it not going to be proportioned? But we're going to try it and see. It Hopefully it will turn out and work just the way that the other blankets have worked. <laughs> This is the biggest square I've used so far, and I really don't think I could use anything bigger for the center, and it still turn out proportional, right? So I am drinking some coffee um, that Lisa had sent me, a K-Pod, and let me think, what was the name of that? Oh yeah, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and so I haven't tried it yet, I was letting it kind of cool off just a little. I couldn't remember the name of it, and then I smelled it, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And when this coffee was making, oh, my gosh, it smelled so strong like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So I'm going to taste it now and see how this is. So here it goes. Oh, my gosh, that tastes just like peanut butter. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not thick like peanut butter, but it tastes just like peanut butter and chocolate. Isn't that so wild that they can get these coffees to taste just like what they say? <laughs> that is so wild. Now, I'm not a huge peanut butter fan. Um, I mean, I'll eat a Reese's cup. I will, but I don't. It's nothing that I just like seek out. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, a couple of weeks ago, we were at the bakery. Mm, last week, not a couple weeks ago. Last week, we was at the bakery where my son worked. And Big Daddy did get a uh, peanut butter chocolate covered egg. And so, and he loves that. Yes, him and Dakota both love peanut butter and Reese's and such. And so, he had got that. And then when I went in Walmart on Wednesday, they had some Easter candy marked down, and they did have a whole package of the Reese's peanut butter egg-shaped <laughs> cups. I don't know. I hadn't seen them anyway. I did pick up uh, one package of those for Big Daddy and put them in the refrigerator so they would stay fresh in there for him. Because he, he, he doesn't eat a lot of sweets. Um, but every now and then, you know, he just wants something. So, and those are kind of small. So those will last him a long time, though, in there. Because he'll just eat one every now and then. So, they'll probably last a couple months in the fridge. I mean, they'll last. And it'll take him a few months to eat those. I don't know how many was in the package. Maybe six, maybe eight. I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> oh. So, guys, I'm going to stop the video and pop in a photo right here of me when I was three years old. So, this photo is 50 years old because I'm 53 and I was three years old in the video. I mean, in the photo. So, it is 50 years old. It is me at my third birthday. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story, and then I'll pop the picture in. <laughs> it is me um, when I turned three years old. It was a Sunday morning. I remember this just like it was yesterday. I mean, I can't remember what I did yesterday, but I remember this as if it was yesterday. <laughs> So I was three years old, and it was Sunday morning, and it was my birthday. We were getting ready for church, and my um, Aunt Ivor, which it really was a cousin, but she was just so much older than me. I mean, she was already, like, um, up there in age, and so we, but she was really my cousin, but we called her, her and her siblings, we called them aunts because... They were just so much older than us. I mean, she was older than my mother. So anyway, she made me that teddy bear birthday cake that you're going to see in the background. And I got that walking doll for my birthday. That's all I wanted for my birthday. I remember I seen it at the store. And it might have been like TGMY. I seen that doll and I wanted it so bad. I cried and cried. And I got it for my birthday. So, that was awesome. So, my aunt come over. She had made me that cake. We took photos. I sat in her lap. And we did photos with the cake she made me and my doll. And, you know, pictures of me and Aunt Ivor together and such, you know. So, we took lots of photos with me sitting in her lap. <laughs> Okay, so then it was a, you know, rush, rush morning. We took time to do all that, and then we were rush, rushing, trying to get on to church. Okay, and you can see I have my little dress on in the photo. And we leave, and we go to church. We're, we're pulling in the church parking lot. Well, we didn't live that far from church. We're, it's a dirt parking lot, okay? Um, we are pulling into the church dirt parking lot <laughs> and I tell my mom I said I don't have any panties on and she was like, <laughs> she was like what and I said I don't have any panties on she said and you sat in ain't Ivor's lap <laughs> I remember that so clearly like that's the first thing she said and so we had to turn around and go back home, which was just right down the road. And um, so I could get some paintings on. 
But that was so funny. I, that's just a funny memory. Anyway, I'm going to pop that photo in right here. So there you go. That was me at three years old with my birthday cake and my walking doll. I love that big old plastic doll. <laughs> I'm not telling how much that doll was back then. I mean, I'm, I imagine it was pretty cheap. Um, you know, it was very cheaply made, but uh, that doll was everything to me. I drugged that around outside, everywhere I went. That doll went with me. And it was just, you know, you see how big it is. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, I have loved dolls uh, for a long, long time. I can tell you that. I wish I still had that doll or a doll like that. And I always look at thrift stores. I've seen people find those kind of dolls at thrift stores, you know. And so, I'm always like, oh, I hope I get lucky. And I go in and I scan real quick to see if there's anything like that. So, uh, anyway, since it is Friday, what do you have going on today or this weekend? You got big plans? We are going to the doctor today in Shreveport. And that's a long, hard trip for me and Big Daddy. Um, I'm going to see the pain pump doctor. And he will adjust my pain pump. Up, he'll up the medication by 20%. And so someone did ask, was I getting relief from the pain pump yet? Was it helping me? Not yet, because the amount of medicine I get is still a tiny, tiny amount. It is just a tiny amount of medication. So it's going to take a while for it to get up to, um, you know, a, an amount that will be therapeutic for me. Oh my goodness. Sissy, sassy. Sissy. Come on, kitty kitty. She goes, I mean, they wait till I get on the video, and then they go and do digging in that litter box. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's Sissy in there. Sassy's laying on the rug here behind me. I was um, running around trying to get things done, you know, get my coffee and putting away some things and getting things done for the video. I uh, made a couple of trips to my bedroom, back to the kitchen, to the laundry room. I was getting some clothes for Big Daddy to put on the wash for me. And Sassy followed me every step of the way, like she thought we was going to go to bed <laughs> twice. <laughs> she has followed me around like, come on, let's go to bed. Silly cat. I imagine she will be up here in a minute because she's looking like um, she's wanting some loving. She loves to snuggle. So, anyway, we are going to Shreveport on Friday. We, As far as I know, we don't have plans for Saturday or Sunday. So, it'll probably take me Saturday to recuperate from Friday anyway. It usually does. I can't I can't really handle two hard days back to back. Um and I, I still, you know, I'm not feeling the greatest this week already, but I'm trying to just, you know, suck it up. <laughs> Pull my big girl panties on and and push through. But um Big Daddy had called me today and said uh, for me to come and meet him in the town that he works in, which is about an hour away. And I told him, I said, I just really do not feel like it. Like, I just don't feel like going anywhere. I said, I'm probably going to go lay down and take a nap. So he was like, okay. Okay, but I never did go lay down and take a nap. But here comes Zeke. Wanting to go, want me to take him to Target. <laughs> I said, Zeke, I just really don't feel like it today. I've already turned Jody down for um, meeting him in town. So, I just, you know, I don't feel like it. But maybe we can go later in a few days. So, he said, okay, that's fine. But, yeah, he's wanting to go to Target. And <laughs> he wants me to take him. <laughs> 
Oh, he probably wants to go and stand in the Lego aisle for an hour. <laughs> Poor kid. He knows I'll do it, but I just couldn't today. But I'll take him later. Anyway, so yeah, um, that's all we got going on this weekend. It's just hopefully just resting after the trip. But I don't know. You know, things change. Big Daddy might have ideas. I might wake up and feel fine and ready to go do something. Who knows? We'll just play it by ear. So, um... Someone asked me if I had worked with Burnett Baby Velvet. I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever worked with that. I can't recall of anything I've made with it. Anyway, she was saying it feels real thin, thin and flimsy. And she wonders how it's going to hold up. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe somebody in the comments has, you know, some thoughts on that. I, I don't know. But I hope it works out for you, and I hope it holds up. I would hate to know I crocheted a whole blanket, and then the thing, you know, not hold up. That would be very frustrating, to say the least. <laughs> right? <laughs> um... And then someone asked me about the eclipse on Monday. You know, we're supposed to have bad weather. Like, I think we're supposed to have a, maybe, I don't know if it's a storm or just rainy or what. So, I don't know how much of that we'll be able to see if it's cloudy and stormy anyway. I have no idea. I have no idea, but I know Elijah is... Pretty excited to be up there in Hot Springs where it's going to actually, you know, supposed to get really, really dark. Um, a few years ago when we had that eclipse to come, I guess it was the last one we had, we had a pool party that day at a friend's house and we all took, you know, got the appropriate glasses and wedding, um, not wedding, welding helmets and such. And went to um, a pool party and watched the eclipse. But I didn't feel like it got really, I didn't feel like we really saw much of a change. I mean, we, you know, saw it passing over, but it didn't get dark or anything. But this might, since it's supposed to be closer to us, but I don't know how the weather affects it. I really don't know. I don't even know what to expect. But I hear... That hot springs all around that area is going to be packed. Like they're expecting a lot of people. Glad I'm not there. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> oh, Jammin, my heart goes out to you. She says she is dealing with carpal tunnel and neuropathy in her hands. And she's not able to crochet. I know that has got to be frustrating, sister. Lord bless you. I'm so sorry. I hope you find relief. And if you can't, you know, get back to crocheting, I hope you can find something that you can do to help pass time. And something that brings you enjoyment. But yeah, that would be very, very frustrating for me. And Sandy, yes. Yes. Tuesday when I said I tried to crochet and I just could not I just some days are like that you know she said some days she just has trouble getting started on the project or getting the middle done or something like that you know and I mean some days I have days like that too but um Tuesday was definitely one of those days where I could not even most make my hook do anything <laughs> that I wanted it to do yes I was just I was in tears <laughs> and it didn't help that I felt really bad and you know oh I was ready to throw it <laughs> but yes it happens I'm sure it happens to all of us at some time or another where we just have a day where and you know sometimes I'll do this like 
I'll forget how to make a slip knot. <laughs> And I can't even start my project because I can't even remember how to do a slip knot. Slip knot, and I have to not think about it. Like if I think about it, I don't know how to do it. I have to like turn something on the watch, forget about what I'm doing, you know, kind of, and then just get my yarn and just do it without thinking about it. Because if I think about it, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> That's just crazy how our minds can play tricks on us like that. And yes, I do have a new crochet hook. Several people asked about that. It was gifted to me. And I will be showing it and telling about um, some crochet hooks in Monday's video. I think it's going to be a Happy Mail video. And I think I'm just going to break that up to a couple, couple of videos for throughout the month. But um, yeah, I'll be telling about that. So... And I do love the hook. Let me just say that. But I'll tell who it's from and all that kind of stuff in the video on Monday, I believe. So, let's see. Barbara, Barbara, bless your heart. Sweet friend, I, I'm so glad to hear you are on the tail end of this road she has been dealing with breast cancer and she is almost finished with her infusions after getting surgery and radiation and chemo and she is on the tail end of it and i know you're so glad to be on the end of this road i imagine that has been a roller coaster and i wish you well and please keep us updated Keep us updated and let us know how you're doing, dear. And, um, somebody asked me about vacations. You know, I think the last time we actually took a vacation was when Dakota graduated high school. We went to Biloxi for a week. And that's the last time we've taken a vacation. Now, we might have went somewhere like doctor's appointments out of town or even out of state, but it wasn't, you know, a vacation. I don't know why Phoebe's crying. She might be asleep and crying in her sleep. Um, but yeah, we, we've... We've never really taken regular vacations, I don't guess. I mean, we've taken our kids, I guess, to Biloxi a lot. Um, that's always been a cheap vacation for us. Just to go get down there and sit on the beach. Get stuff for, um, you know, sandwiches and stuff like that that we could eat out on the beach. So, that's always been something that we did, not every summer, but we tried to take the kids, you know, every now and then. Um, let's see. Someone asked if I could only crochet with one color of yarn for the rest of my life, what color would that be? Now, I think that might be the hardest question I have ever been asked. I cannot imagine being limited to one color. I just can't even imagine that. Um, I don't even know. I mean, yellow is my favorite color, but I can't see everything I make being in yellow. I can't see everything I make being in one color. I would hope it would be a variegated. <laughs> Is that cheating? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe a variegated um, retro stripe or something like that. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments what would be your... If you could only crochet with one yarn for the rest of your life, what color would it be? Y'all tell us in the comments... So we can see what everyone else thinks about that. Wow. That is a hard question. 
And y'all don't forget to leave me questions in the comment section under this video and on the YouTube comments. Leave me a co questions there and I will answer them in a future video. But yes, um, answer that question too. <laughs> you can make more than one comment. Oh, let's see. Pam, okay, gingerbread, red gingerbread Pam. She lives in Louisiana. I thought she lived in Lake Charles, but she might, she might have moved and lived more central now. I'm not sure. Pam, let me know where are you and how far up north Louisiana do you ever come? Let me know, Pam. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She, um, took a little vacation from it i think and i think she's getting back into um posting some videos but anyway she did say on her in her comment she said living with autoimmune issues is not for the weak and that is so true that is so true you just you got to be strong to live with autoimmune diseases but you know what? And I've told my friend Angela this. The problem with being a strong woman is that people think you can just do anything. And they think you don't need help. Um, because, okay, and so let's take Big Daddy for instance. He He sees me struggle. He does see me struggling. But he sees me hard-headed and i'm you know try to do things on my own and i try to accomplish because I, I don't like asking for help you know if you want to jump up and help me but i'm not gonna beg you to help me <laughs> ain't that crazy <laughs> i'm the problem <laughs> i'm the problem it's me anyway but he sees me doing things like such as that, and so he just thinks I can do anything, you know? Um, and then there's times where I literally just cannot do it. I cannot do whatever it is I'm trying to do, and um, he just thinks that I... I'm doing it, I guess. I don't know. We ain't had this conversation or nothing. This is just thoughts that's been rolling around in my head. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like when you when you are a strong person and you try to do things on your own, people just think that you can do things on your own. Even when you're struggling and having a bad day, they just don't get it because they don't see you that way. And, um, then you feel like you're not supposed to ever have a bad day. <laughs> and you feel like you can't take that time to cry or whatever it is you need to do. <laughs> I tell you what, I've probably cried more this past month than I have in a long time. But it has been rough. It's been, it's been hard. It has. And just getting used to not having that finger. Um, it's been hard. It really has. Uh, I'm not trying to sit up here and pretend like, you know, everything's hunky-dory and I hadn't had any issues. I have. I've struggled with it. And someone asked, did, did I think I need to go to therapy? And I'm assuming they're talking about therapy as in talking and not like physical therapy. But anyway, you guys are my therapy. Y'all, you're my therapy. <laughs> but no, I'm not opposed to that. Um, I'm really not. I'm not opposed to that. I love to talk. Um, I'll talk to anybody about anything. And if it, you know, helps and has benefits, then that's great. But really and truly, you guys are my, are my therapist, okay? I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I couldn't even pay y'all y'all's therapy fees. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. What else we got over here? 
Okay, so Scorpio commented that they need a blanket that is 45 inches wide and 80 inches long. That is a very long blanket. And she was, or I don't know if it's a male or female, but they were wanting to know suggestions on how to get a blanket to that size. I really don't know. Now, this is what I'm thinking. If you've done something like this, and you got it to the 45 inches wide, but it's still not your 80 inches long, you could crochet back and forth um, across the, like, it'll be like this. That'll be the bottom, and this will be the top of the blanket. You could crochet back and forth across the top and the bottom. Or you could make granny squares to add. Now, you would need to, if you had a whole blanket and you want to make it the length longer, you want to add granny squares up here and granny squares up here. Say if it was this blanket and you redid this and was adding those here. What you would have to do, though, you would have to count your clusters. And you would count this one. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that could take a granny square with six colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if you wanted to put the white, you would need seven. So you would have to... You would have to count and see how many of these you have. And that way you could figure out how big your squares could be. Because it has to fit there, right? Does that make sense um, to you? You would have to count out all the way across and say, I don't even know a number, but say you had 24 clusters across. Um, then I guess you could do, oh gosh, I hope this math is right. <laughs> I guess you could do six rounds four times. I hope that math is right. <laughs> I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just saying it. So anyway, you would have to figure out how many rounds you could make each one to fit across there. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. If not, we can talk about it some more. Keep asking questions. That's the way I could think of once you got it to the 45 inches wide and you wanted to get it 80 inches long. If it wasn't long enough, you'd have to measure and then, um, and then I'd probably come back and measure my center squares to see how many of those I would need to add to make it that size. Yeah, you just have to play around the numbers and see. But you could definitely make that work. I'm going to connect this and then get a sip of my coffee. And then add start with my yellow. All right. I'm just going to cut my green. And I do like the slime green. I'm loving it. Alright. So there's the green. And I'm going to start a round of uh -oh, of yellow. Now, I don't ever start, like I finished in this corner, I don't start in that corner. I always turn my blanket and start in a different corner. So, I'm going to I'm gonna start it right here. And I'm just going to... Um, just chain three 
from my first cluster and go from there. And I will say this. I know some people prefer to turn their blanket and work in the opposite direction. And it's, that's what some people like, and that is great. That's just not what I like. So I don't do mine that way. But there's no right way or wrong way. I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. I'm not saying I'm doing it right. <laughs> I'm just saying that I prefer not to do that. So I don't do it. But lots of people do. Trying to make sure I get in that center and pull that yarn back through. I hear Big Daddy in there yawning. He was going to go to bed, but then he remembered he had to wash his pants. So, and I can't get them out of the, I, I can't get wet clothes out of the washer. I don't have hands to you know fingers to pick them up and stuff plus i don't need to be holding cold wet clothes so he has to stay up until he can put them in the dryer i'm gonna get a drink of coffee i forgot to do that it smells and tastes just like a reese cup oh my goodness that is so strange <laughs> But all these coffees have tasted just like it says. Just like whatever the name of it is. And it's been some, you know, strange names. That you think, no, nah, it's not going to taste like that. And it does. Let's see. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. Mary Beth, thank you. I see you. Thank you. And also, somebody asked about my arm. If this arm was, you know, getting, feeling better or getting used to crocheting like this. It is. It's not hurting as bad. I mean, it does get a little tired. And I had to just stop and put my arm down a minute to rest it. But, um, it is okay. It's, it's it's getting better. You know, when I first started trying to crochet, oh, that arm just hurt really bad because I was using muscles that I was crocheting in a different way. And I was using my muscles in a different way. And it was just very, very sore and painful after just a few minutes. But I guess I'm getting used to it. But it does still get a little bit sore and I just stop and... Let it rest for a moment. Just just letting it rest for just a short moment helps. Ah, there it is. Anyway. Uh, I don't know what all we're going to do while we're in Shreveport today. I know I need to go to Joann's, and I might buy another round of these colors, just because I love them, okay? <laughs> Not that I'm saying, thinking this blanket I need them, but I might just need them for other projects. I have some other things I want to do, and I just love these colors. They are just beautiful. Beautiful. So, I may do that. I don't know. I don't know what Big Daddy's plans are, and it depends on how we feel. Um, you know. So we shall see. I can tell, I mean, you can probably tell too, that I'm getting better at the crochet, and it's going smoother until it's not. <laughs> it is going smoother, and I'm just, I have more control now than I did when I first started, you know, back to crocheting after surgery. Um, so it's going good. 
I'm, I'm very happy with my progress. I mean, I still wish um, when I'm doing the amigurumi that I had tension on my hook. Not out here, but the loop on my hook gets too big. And therefore it makes my amigurumi a little bit too loopy at the when I'm starting the project out and such. Up until the point where I'm able to actually hold on to the project and give more give it more tighter tension or whatever. Because I'm used to crocheting tight amigurumi. But yeah, sometimes that loop here on the hook gets too big as I'm doing all this kind of stuff. And it's just too loopy. But anyway, I think that's all the questions. Um, I think I talked about all the questions that I had jotted down from Tuesday's video. I think there's still some, you know, there'll be some coming in on um, Thursday's video that I'll answer later. And that, that missing that Tuesday did give me a little buffer there so that I'm not having to wait uh you know, a whole 24 hours or anything for questions. I can take the questions from the previous video and go ahead and make my video. So that kind of did work out good for me. Gave me a little buffer. Talked to my son Dakota tonight and he was actually um, editing a video to go out. He He's... Poor guy. He got he finally got monetized and then the cord on his computer broke. So he went to Best Buy and bought a new cord, but it was the wrong size. But he knew online what cord to get that would be the right size. So he went on Amazon and ordered it and it said it would be there the next day, which it wasn't. But it did come in today. It said it would be there Wednesday, but it, it didn't make it until Thursday. Yeah. So... He is finally able to do a video for this week. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> I know he's probably frustrated. Because he's been on a roll with them. I wish he had been able to record decorating my Dolly Parton cake. But he wasn't. Because um, he just didn't have a way to do that. With his um, cord broke and such. I don't know. We do videos differently. He does his. Um, with his laptop. And a. Um, a little camera. I forgot what you call it. And I have. I have that a little camera like that. I think we might even have the same one. But um but I've never even figured out how to use it. I never figured out how to use it, so I forgot what you call it. Oh my gosh. My brain. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, this is going pretty smoothly for me. But guys, I'm going to let you all get going. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a blessed day. Enjoy your day and your weekend. Now come back and check for videos this weekend. I should have one Saturday and Sunday of some kind. Um, so come back and join me for more videos. Um... I'll be crocheting on this. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> but I might put out... I'm, this next week, I'm going to try to put out a video in the mornings and a video in the afternoon. So I'm going to work towards that for this next week. That was the goal for this week, and it, it just didn't happen that way. You know, sometimes your mind wants to do one thing. Who said this? Somebody said that. Betty. 
Betty said, you know, her mind's always thinking she can do things that she can't do. And mine is the same exact way. My mind thinks I can just do anything that I've ever done before. I can still do it. And then my body's like, girl, <laughs> I don't know who you think we are, but we ain't doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I have those issues where I think I can do anything. And my body is like, nope. And that, that's, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. Having your mind trying to catch up with your body, you know. But anyway. So, remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. I love you guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, friends.